the redox titrations or redox reactions involving potassium dichromate is synonymously known as dichrometry and here we are using potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 as an oxidizing agent. We have already gone through various oxidation reduction titration where we are using oxidizing agent as the standard material. Initially, we studied permanganometry, cerimetry, and iodometry, iodimetry, everything. So, we reached here in dichrometry where we are using K2Cr2O7 as a primary standard as a oxidizing agent. So, next question is what is the oxidation state of chromium here? So, let us calculate that what the central metal atom is having plus 6 oxidation state and here 2 chromium ions are present here. So, plus 12 it will be the total oxidation state. So, individual per metal that is plus 6 oxidation state and this plus 6 oxidation state chromium will undergo redox reaction it will change to its plus 3 oxidation state so here this is totally this is a 6 electron redox reaction or chromium is producing into chromium 3 through a 6 electronic process so the 6 whenever 6 electron is getting into potassium dichromate that will convert into chromium 3. So, let us see the details of oxidations, oxidation reactions of potassium dichromate. We have already discussed this is a very powerful oxidizing agent similar to that of potassium permanganate, but it is having a lot of advantages over potassium permanganate because this is available in its purest form. Almost we will be getting this compound in its 99.99 percentage purity and it is stable up to its fusion point. So, we can use this compound as a primary standard or we can say this is an excellent primary standard in redox titrimetric analysis. Okay, so remember this compound is a primary standard. So we know what is a primary standard if we are directly weighing this material and making the solution. So that we will consider as a standard solution. No need of external standardization techniques. So by weighing, directly weighing and doing the calculation and making the concentration molarity solution means from that itself we will be make without standardization external standardization procedure we will get the standard solutions so remember potassium potassium dichromate is a excellent primary standard and not only that these solutions are stable for very long time and potassium dichromate is used only in acid solutions these titrations are performed only in acid solutions and this will not reduced by cold HCl. So, in cold HCl only it will not be getting reduced but it may in boiling HCl or something with this means this can liberate chlorine uh, from that. So, we will not be much, we are not much preferring the HCl as an acid here but this is possible to use in cold HCl and this is used usually this is used to quantify iron ore or iron 2 we will be able to quantify and this iron 2 will convert into its iron 3 when we titrate with potassium dichromate and we are type this re overall reaction is like this potassium dichromate and when we are titrating with ferrous it will in presence of very strong acid it will react and that time it will be converting the iron into its ferric, ferric form and this it will be uh, chrom uh, chromium central metal plus 6 to plus 3 oxidation state it will be changing. So, there this is a totally a 6 electron process here. 
six electron process means this chromate ion it is receiving the six electron or it is converting to four chromium three. Remember this is happening in very strong acid solution and and once it is formed the Cr3 plus these ions are in green color. So the green color due to this chromate ion formed uh, will lead some difficulty to find out the end point or it will be a little bit difficult to make out the color difference between the chromate and the chromium 3 plus ions are slightly difficult. So we have to use here a redox indicator. So the redox indicator we are applying internally or externally. So the internal indicators in chromate ion detection we are using here are N phenyl anthralinic acid or diphenyl sulfonate otherwise we can call, we can use the uh, salt or in a, otherwise use its salt form that is sodium salt of diphenyl sulfonate and as an external indicator we can use potassium ferricyanide here this potassium ferricyanide ion is ferricyanide will convert into its ferrocyanide form once it is in ferrocyanide form it forms a blue color so these are the different endpoint detection technique in dichrometry. One is in internal indicator and another is external indicator. In internal indicator we are using N-phenyl anthralinic acid and diphenyl sulfonate or sodium salt of diphenyl sulfonic acid that is also we are using. So the indicator we are using potassium ferricyanide ion. Potassium ferricyanide will be converting into its ferrocyanate form and that ferrocyanate form is intense blue in color. Let us see how the how we will do the titration here. We are doing um, we are using standard uh, potassium dichromate and this solution is primer, a primary standard. So by weighing itself we will be getting the uh, standard solution we will be making by direct weighing technique itself and n phenyl anthralinic acid as an internal and otherwise we will be able to use external indicators like potassium ferricyanide as we discussed in very first slide this reaction whatever we have shown here is for determining fe2 plus percent in iron ore or quantity of quantify the iron present in ore and for that we will be quantifying Fe2 plus present in this ore, I know. And so we will be just titrating with K2Cr207, that time in presence of acid medium, ferric, uh, ferrous form ion is converting into its ferric form and this chromium is undergoing, sorry, chromium itself is undergoing reduction and it is undergoing. So this is a very simple concept only. Hope it is very clear. This is how the titration is performing. And shall we go to the preparation of standard 0 0.02 molar potassium dichromate? And as we discussed earlier, this is a high purity primary standard. So this is stable. Uh, this is very stable compound also. So as we discuss. We, by weighing directly weighing itself we will be in, without external standardization technique or without standardization technique we will be getting the pure solution or exact strength solution we will be able to make for that we have to heat and dry k2cr207 um, for 30 to 60 minutes at 150 degrees celsius in an oven very fast then we have to weigh 5.8 gram of dry K2Cr207 and we are making up 1 liter by dissolving in water. So the molarity of the solution can be directly calculated from the weight taken itself. This much all for the potassium dichromate titrations. So remember and write all the best for your exams. Just consider this as a simple revision manner.